Hello guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Trust and this is a TS Tech Talk video. On today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make use of um, how to make use of Leonardo AI on today's video, and it's going to be very simple and more quick. So if you have Leonardo AI, just go ahead and open your browser and let's access the web right now. So go ahead and type in leonardo.ai and it's going to load up and open. Now, after it loads up, all you need to do is actually to launch the application so that you'll be able to log into the app. But if you are new, you can go ahead and click on create account. It's going to take you to the process of creating an account. After you create account with your either your email, it's going to request that you use um, that you use a username. So with the username, people can know who actually created the message or who actually created the image. Now I'm just going to click on launch. All right. So um, these are the features right there. You can notice right here, it actually has um, image generation, real time canvas, um, canvas editor. And if you go forward, you are going to see the final one, which is the motion. Now, all of these are actually supposed to allow you to create um, in one place. And then guys, this is the important one. It has 150 um, token or let's say coin, Leonardo coin that is rewarded to you. So every time you create for free, it's going to deduct from this coin. And if it exhausts it, um, in seven hours, you can see right here, in seven hours, it's going to be restored. Now, if you are trying to work on Leonardo and you don't understand, you are going to notice a question mark next to that particular area. So it's going to help you to describe what you are looking for. Now, after the home page, you can see the community. Click on the community to see everything that the community has created recently. And you can actually switch from the trending AI into um, click on the drop down to click on the new. So it's going to switch from trending to new. On default, it's set to trend. But the funny thing is that you will never go back from uh, the new to the trends again. So you are going to click on it and you can select top AI uh, image generated. So you are going to see everything display for you. So all you just need to do is to choose the right one you think is okay for you and you can work with it. So let's say um, this particular image, you want to work on this image. Once you click on it, all you need to do is to choose remix. So when you click on remix, it's going to remix this particular image and it's going to open it for you to be able to make adjustment or to choose a different wording. So I, you know, I love Fox a lot. So I am going to change this to a Fox instead of um, draw Lucas, a small boy holding his faithful friend, boot the dog as they walk through the forest. So I'm just going to change that to Fox. So from a dog to a Fox. Now, um, if you're ready to generate your image, you can hit generate. Now on default, this is set to four images per generation. And if it's set to four images per generation, when you click on generate, you notice right there, it's going to take 20 token away each time I generate. But then I am actually going to make use of, if you use four or two, you can notice it's reduced. And if you use one also, you will notice it also reduced. Now, another thing you also need to notice you can actually make adjustments to the settings on this area. Now, this is photorealistic. If you hover on it, you are going to notice it says um, the Photo Photoreal is actually our latest invention, a powerful pipeline designed to generate a hyper-realistic photo and lifelike portrait required Akimi work. So if you are using this particular option, it's going to enable this one on automatic. But if you do not want to enable this, um, that means you cannot use this. So if you enable it, it's going to enable all of this automatically. And another thing you actually need to consider, the size of your image, what size you want your image to be. I think I want it to be um, this particular size. So it's going to be different from the default one. Now you can also adjust the size by this area. You can click on this to select the appropriate one you think it's okay for you. But actually, I think this uh, first option is okay. So I'm going to leave that. 
now if you are not satisfied with that you can go ahead and make changes to it but i think i'm actually okay with the settings so um let's go ahead and hit generate and it's going to generate the image and if you notice below there are some images below these images are the previous image i've generated on my ai so it's always saved up and anytime you want you can always edit or make any adjustment you want or let's say you add motion to it so i actually chose it to generate only one image so it's going to generate only one image for me but just for a better option if you choose four images it's going to generate the four images and then you can choose if you are satisfied with the four images that was generated so let's wait for it to do its job All right, so it has actually generated our image for us. Now you can see how the fox looks. I think I like that. So you can click on it and you can see it properly. If you do not like it, you can go ahead and switch. But I think I'm actually okay with this and I'm going to hit download because I'm satisfied with that. So if for some reason you want to do a different, um, a different prompt, you can always go ahead and click on this and you clear everything and you start all over. Or let's say you are actually on the home page and you want to actually generate an image, you just need to come to this area where it says user to click on image generation and it's going to open a blank image generation for you and then you can now type what you want to have on your image generation. So do not forget, this is actually set to 3D style. So if you are generating your image and you do not want to use a 3D style, you can click on this area and then you choose a different one. On default, a lot of people like making use of this stable diffusion. You can see stable diffusion here. A lot of people prefer making use of that, but then you can also make use of default um, Leonardo diffusion so choose any one you prefer play around it and you can see how it fits to your style if you love it or if um it doesn't look uh presentable based on what you want but i think this is going to give you a better a better looking generation if you decide to choose what you want based on what you saw or what was previously generated so let's see how this looks in a real realistic form and do not forget you can always make use of this photo reel if you do not get a good result all right so you can see the result of the generated image it's not too bad but um this is not exactly what i want but then it still looked like a fox but they are not looking like a real human unlike what i typed is giving a, re a different result but then it's not too bad you can see for yourself this is 2d and this is the 3d so whichever one you want you can go with but i think i prefer this one better so then guys another thing i want to show you um if you decide to actually generate image making um use of a, a real-time drawing you can actually make use of this when you click on this you'll be able to draw and you actually get results this is actually my previous drawing it looks very horrible and i also did not get the result i want um this is actually what i got i actually <laughs> was thinking it's going to give me something looking better like a tree but um that did not give me so um you can draw here if you are very good at drawing you do your drawing and it's give, going to give you the output here and you can see right here to download the image when you're done but i'm actually not okay with that and you can always refine the image here or you upscale the image but then i'm actually not interested in any of that so i'm going to click on back so if you want to use the canvas, you can use the canvas to edit image and do a lot of things. I already covered that. So guys, um, I did not get any question on this video, but if I get any question or any comment on under this video, I am going to know that you guys are actually having a challenging. I am going to hopefully make a video based on what you ask. But if I didn't get any uh, question, I think um, we are good to go. So thank you guys for watching the video and I hope it's helpful. I will see you guys on my next video. I enjoyed using a Leonardo lately because I just discovered it and I think it's a very cool AI tool and it's still evolving. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you on my next video. Stay safe and peace.